Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big edge with another video, man. New media notification game. God Squad. It's what it is, man. Look, check this out, man. Arrow. I done already said it, made the video saying enough and all that shit, but bruh, you lying. All this little shit you doing right now, all this, you blindsided and all that bitch shit you talking about, bro. Nigga, you jaws it for the folk. You jaws it for the folk. Talking about all this Keith Thurman shit, talking about how you don't want to fight Keith Thurman and all that bullshit. But wait a minute, hold up, wait, 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 hold, wait, 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 wait. Didn't you say that you was going to fight Keith Thurman? Wasn't he a part of your whole little Alan Heyman masterful plan and shit? Wasn't he one of the first names that you spoke upon? Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao, Mikey Garcia, Danny Garcia. He ain't mentioned Terrence. No, he ain't mentioned. Terrence ain't a part of your game plan. So now all this shit you talking about with Keith Thurman, that shit bullshit, bruh. Because your bitch ass said Keith Thurman was a part of the plan, nigga, when you and Terrence was talking, you filming all that bullshit. So I don't hear all of a sudden, and your ass was chasing Keith Thurman, all the shit on Keith Thurman, nigga, all the bullshit, bruh. And I don't want to hear shit from you aerosexuals when it comes to this nigga Errol Spence. Nothing. Y'all have nothing to say because everything that y'all have to say in the comment section, I can bury. Everything, every comment you niggas be leaving, be straight comedy, lunacy, and I could bury all that shit. But I don't have the time to type. Oh, no, fuck all that. Because number one, it ain't worth my time. And number two, when a nigga go live, ain't none of you whole ass niggas gonna pull up. The only ones that's going to pull up to my live is my real ones and my day ones. But you aerosexual niggas, you bitch ass, hoe ass niggas that be leaving bitch made comments in the comment section. Y'all niggas ain't going to be nowhere to be found when a nigga go live on your hoe ass. So all that talking you niggas be doing in the comment section, that gives no fucks about that bitch at y'all home. Because when a nigga live, where the fuck y'all at? Don't worry, I'll wait. And that's part of the reason why a nigga go live. Was because the niggas that was used to get at me about Deontay Wilder. Them niggas didn't pull up. But at least them niggas had a little more leverage than you heterosexual niggas. I can give them niggas some respect. They got a little more. They had some more leverage with the nigga. You niggas? Y'all heterosexuals don't got nothing to say to nobody. Straight up. Nothing. Running your goddamn mouth about another grown ass man who out here looking like a whole dumb ass nigga out here embarrassing himself. I've been told you niggas that these niggas is peaked because they paying these niggas big time money so they ain't hungry for shit. They already got the fame. They already got the money. They already got the bitches, the cars, and the clothes and all that bullshit. Already. So all the shit niggas been wanting, they have it already. So they ain't got to fight no more. They don't have to want for these. They don't have to fight these big fights. They already millionaires. They already making money. Probably got them little businesses somewhere making money on the back end outside the motherfucking sport. Just being real with you. So when you got it like that, what the fuck I need to fight this nigga for? I'm already this. I'm already that. I'm already doing this. I got this. Boy. I don't need to fight him. There's no need for that. The mindset of these fighters is piss poor, homie. And that's part of the reason why Alan Heyman and Floyd, they paying these niggas. Bruh, Floyd Mayweather don't smoke, don't drink, never. Far as I know, from what I'm seeing, Canelo don't smoke, don't drink. Anthony Joshua don't smoke, don't drink. As far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong on any of these niggas. But I know for a fact Floyd Mayweather don't smoke and don't drink. And Canelo don't smoke and don't drink. 
He might drink. I don't know. But I ain't never seen that nigga like smoke or talk about. I don't, so I, I firmly believe Canelo don't smoke or drink. That's a fighter's life, bro. That's really the fighter's life. There's nothing wrong with having a, maybe a beer every now and again or some shit like that. That ain't nothing wrong with that. I didn't see niggas and professional niggas do that type of shit. Like they have a beer every now and again. They still beat your ass, though. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, they had them a little beer and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? They're still fighting all the shit. But technically, the fighter's lifestyle, you ain't supposed to smoke. You don't drink. You don't eat bad. You gotta, you don't really do too much. Any, you don't put nothing bad technically in your body. Arrow's, Arrow is an alcoholic. He don't smoke. As far as I know, you don't see that nigga smoking. But that nigga's an alcoholic. It's bad for the sport of boxing. And the nigga got money. He got kids. He got bread. His kids is take care of. They good. They ain't got a one for nothing. So Arrow living it up. Bro, real rap. Arrow, this, this drinking shit bad. Just the fact that you was out here drinking in the first place to even get in that accident. Regardless of all other shit, shit motherfuckers want to say behind that shit. But the fact that you was even out in the club or you be out in the club or you used to be out in the club drinking and all that bullshit. And you supposed to be a fighter out here. You ain't supposed to be doing that. You ain't even supposed to be living that type of lifestyle, bro. You technically supposed to be eating, sleeping, shitting, drinking water and boxing. Fucking with your family and shit. You ain't got no business in no club, bro. For real, for real. Unless they paying you to be there for like a couple hours and you can leave type shit. But other than that, nigga, you ain't got no business in no motherfucking club. Just keeping that A1 yellow with you, bro. But you on some house shit, nigga. For real, for real. All this, all this right now is back talk. This duck talk. You can tell, you can tell everybody else in the world. What you want to. But you and I know what's going on. That's why it don't make no sense why y'all aerosexuals even try to come to niggas' channels, talk all that bullshit. That don't make no good goddamn sense. Cause y'all ain't got no evidence, no proof, no nothing. Yo nigga out here look stupid. Yo nigga out here giving niggas like me and Coach Malachi, Bruce Vane, Jay Beasy, you know what I'm saying, Two Hands, all the real niggas, Mac Mob, Rebel Life, you know what I'm saying, Coach Fika, you know what I'm saying, Blood Boxing, Boxing Spread shit. You, you, you the reason why niggas out here ripping you the whole the fuck up. Mark Nash, you know what I'm saying? No, we wrong for calling this shit for what it is. And not how you want to claim it's supposed to be. Ain't that a bitch? Nah, homie. Arrow out here on some sucker shit. Period. Something ain't going on in the right way, bruh. For y'all niggas. Real rap. Your homeboy fucking up. He ain't looking too cool out here. Talking about he blindsided. You ain't blindsided, bruh. You already told us what you was going to do. And you was doing it. And then there was this thing with Terrence Crawford, where in order for your ass to be undisputed, you have to fight him. Let you not take that fight, bro. Let you not take that fight with Terrence Crawford, my G. Let that really happen like I predicted it's going to happen. You're not going to fight Terrence Crawford. You really don't want that smoke. Me and Sheldon Brown both said that shit. Shout out Sheldon Brown. Because, nigga, we both said, you don't hit that butt. You don't fight that dude. You'll probably fight everybody else. But that guy, you don't want to fight that guy. And I made a video saying, you don't want to fight that guy. Made a couple videos saying, you didn't want to fight that guy. Then when I had the simple inkling that you might... Once again, you prove me that I was right once again. You don't want to hit that bud, homie. You don't want to fight Terrence. You made me and had me thinking that you wanted to. I got a video saying that I'm thinking that I felt that you wanted to fight Terrence. But real rap, you don't want to fight Terrence. You don't want to fight Terrence. Alan Heyman don't want you to fight Terrence. Floyd Mayweather don't want you to fight Terrence. You don't want to fight dude. So cut all this bullshit out. That's why I don't make videos. 
Because I know it's bullshit. I know it's all bullshit. I know it's all smoke and mirrors. That's why you don't have real life promoters in the sport. Because you have promoters that want to be a part of boxing, but they know boxing is too fucking corrupt and unnecessarily political to really do some shit. Because when it comes to really doing something, niggas don't want to do nothing. Niggas want to back talk and run, come up with excuses, ask for unrealistic money and all this cap shit, all this duck shit. That's why I don't know real motherfuckers watch the shit and they watch UFC and MMA, bro. Straight up. That's why most of the casual boxing fans are hardcore MMA fans. And most of the hardcore fans are middle-aged to older cats. Very few of the younger generation are real Hardcore boxing fans. It's not that many. You can't tell. It's a lot DT3. It's a lot. No, it ain't. No, it's not. I see the demographic. I see the ages that are subscribed to my channel. So I know. And I look at this, some of the same people that are subscribed to my channel are subscribed to the same channels that I watch. So I know that the demographic for the younger generation of this day and age are more geared to watching MMA than boxing because boxing don't put on big major fights. They build up fighters to try to make them stars to prom promote this undefeated shit with other low opposition fighters. That's how they do it in boxing. Once you lose, your career is shit in boxing. The only combat sport that's like that, you can lose in Muay Thai. You can lose in kickboxing. You can lose in MMA as many fucking times. You could have 5, 10, 15 losses, all the shit, and still be a Hall of Famer. Still be considered an all-time great. Not in boxing, bro. Not in this day and age. Not in this era. No, sir, Bob. All bullshit, bro. Fighters fight. Period. Point blank. Cut the check. Cut the motherfucking check. Arrow, you cap. You all cap. All smoke. All smoke and mirrors, bro. Ain't no special effects with this shit here, bro. You want some bullshit. You back talking. And I don't usually make videos at night, but this shit right here, nigga, bruh, no, nigga can't let this shit slide like that, bro. You out here bullshitting, bro. You told, you told niggas you was going to fight Keith Thurman. You told niggas you wasn't going to fight Terrence. That was enough for me. I ain't need to see no more. He said, he told you niggas. He told you niggas. He said, he told y'all. In front of Bob. Right there. ES News. Shout out Ellis at back. Nigga told you niggas. Right there. What more do you need to see? And then the cold part about it. Just on getting on that alone, right? Let's just say you just got off that, right? All you aerosexuals made all the excuses. All the bullshit came with all the excuses, ran with the same little narrative that Arrow was pushing with the belts and he too little and, and all that shit. Ran with all that shit. And the nigga did exactly what he told you. He's showing you. He ain't trying to fight Terrence. Terrence is not a part of the blueprint. He's showing you that shit. What more do you niggas need to see? So when the fight don't fucking happen, don't say nothing. I'm going to sit my black ass right here 
Y'all will not get a video about how the fight ain't happened and I told you all that blah, blah, blah. Nope. You might hear it on the live. But I ain't going to make no video telling y'all I told you the fight wasn't up. No. Mm-mm. Catch me on live. I'm probably going to say that shit live, though. Real rap. But, nigga. All this bullshit, bro, and boxing is cap, bro. It's cap. It's bogus. That's why you don't see videos from me every day. That's why I give and pay respect to the Coach Malakas, the JBZs, the Bruce Vanes, the Mark Nashes, the, the B Max, the Mac Mobs, the Rebel Life, the Coach Fikers, the Real Talk Boxings, the Mighty Maxes of the world. Like, I give y'all niggas props. I give y'all niggas, man, salute to you niggas. Subscribe if you ain't did the shit. But man, my nigga, the shit, uh, uh boxing beats and rhymes, black and brown, uh, major key boxing, like nigga, I salute to you niggas. Real rap. Cause um this shit here, bruh. Mm-mm. 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 It's all the game. Them niggas is playing people out they money. Using the fan base to promote bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Telling you it's sugar, but selling you shit. Period, point blank. I don't need to see more to know what the fuck it is and what, is it, what it's going to be. It was the same thing with Deontay Wilder when I said that shit wasn't going to happen, and it didn't happen. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen at this point because of where their careers are at at this point. But at that time, bro, they wasn't finna fight, bro. If a nigga off, if a nigga turned down a hundred mil, bro, this nigga's not finna fight, bro. Nigga turned down a hundred mil, bro. Nah, bro. They ain't finna scrap, bro. Then niggas come for it and say they ain't fighting on no app. Then, then your boss come and fight on app. Nah, bro, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, bro. PBC is cap. Y'all niggas is falling for the trap. Hell no. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Bro, no. No, no. Bro, you can't, bro. You can't pay me. You can't pay me to rock with that PBC bush. You can't pay me enough to compromise my integrity for that bullshit. No. Ain't gonna happen, Captain. Real rap. Serious, but No. Y'all niggas, y'all aerosexual, but shut the fuck up. Stop talking. Stop, stop saying shit. Stop it. Stop. I, I'm not gonna be on no uh, Charlo shit. Keep running. No, bro. Shut up. I need y'all to shut the fuck up. Real rap. Stop talking about you burning it. Bro, Arrow is on some cap shit, bro. Shut up. Every, any and everything that you can comment... In the comment section, pertaining to Errol Spence, anything you use to argue anything pertaining to Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, you Errol fucking sexuals, I will and can bury very easily. It is not hard. Stop running your mouth before you get your feelings hurt. Because niggas like me and Coach Malachi are your enemy. Same thing with you Wilder niggas. Because I try to be cool with you niggas. But the one thing that I understand, that I grew to understand, that me and my nigga Bruce Vane, Bruce Vane had a conversation about, it don't matter what I say about Deontay Wilder. The fact that I didn't say so much shit pertaining to the bullshit uh, pertaining to Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua when that old tobacco shit was going on. Them Wilder niggas hate me. So I can say something good about Deontay Wilder. I can make four, three, four, five videos saying something good about Deontay Wilder. But them niggas will forever remind me of all the shit that I said about De Deontay Wilder in a negative light. So I ain't getting out of that. So fuck it. I'm going to own that space. When he do something good, I get a nigga praise. When he do something to say some dumb shit, 
come on that nigga head. It's just the way the world works. I think YouTube would not be YouTube without DT3 saying some shit about Deontay Wilder. It just, it's like it's prophetic. It was meant to be. But this arrow spin shit, bro, shut the fuck up, bro. Y'all arrow sexuals, bro? Mm-mm. Shut up. I, I, bro, I'd rather, I'd rather deal with the Wilder fans than you niggas. At least them niggas come with some factual shit. At least them niggas have some sense of a legitimate argument. When they do come with their arguments, I can give them niggas that shit. But you niggas? Oh, hell no. Shut up. Stop talking. Stop it. Stop it. Cut it out. Mm-mm. Don't say it. Because when I go live, you niggas ain't going to pull up. And if y'all niggas just so happen to have the gall to do it, I'm going to bury you niggas. I'm going to bury you niggas one by one by fucking one. Ask about me, bro. Tell your friends about me. You already know what it is, man. It's DT3. And be on the lookout, man, because those of y'all that was supposed to know didn't know, but you already know what's coming up, bro. It's December, bro. So when December is hitting, bro, you already know what I'm finna do. December dedication. So December dedication is, nigga, I do a video every day, bro. Y'all will see a video from me every day. It will not always be pertaining to boxing. It will probably be pertaining to life shit, spiritual shit, relationship shit, marriage, you know, or whatever. Anything. I'll be, I'll come with some random shit. It's, it'll be random. But it'll also, have, I'll also have boxing shit too. But December dedication, bro, you will be seeing me every day, bro. You'll be getting a video from me every day. You'll be getting more live stream from me more often. More likely, you'll be getting at least a live stream a week from me. You understand me? Because it's December. And it's December dedication. And I'm going to tell y'all where I got that from when December dedication comes. So, if you want to holler, if you really want to fuck with your boy, come see me. December dedication, man. You already know what it is. DT3, MBBC, MBBC forever, bruh. One.